Welcome back, friends. We're here chilling out with our friend Ashley, and she is showing us around Smartsheet. So, Ashley, that first segment was really interesting. I know for project managers, they're amazed at how versatile and flexible it is. Can you show us that sheet you were showing us in the first video? There we go. All right. So you were showing us how we can use this uh, predecessors column and link tasks and all this uh, awesome yeah. <laughs> stuff. What else can Smartsheet do for us as project managers? So just in project management, I learned that you can kind of go into your tasks and say, well, you know, this task is ending, but I don't want this task to start for three days and after this one's finished. So you just, and there you go. And it'll tell you when this task is finishing, you're gonna add three days to it and that's when it's going to start. That's, that's pretty and nifty. it'll it'll auto update your dates as well. So, I mean, nice. it's so intuitive and it works so fast. You never, you know, have to worry again about missing a task. And my favorite thing about the Gaunt working so well for project management when I worked there was over here, these alerts. Mm -hmm. You know, you can set up an alert for when the day before a project is, you know, due to start to let them know, hey, this project is starting tomorrow. And you can even ask, you know, are we ready? Are we on track for this project to start tomorrow? And get real-time answers, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how Smartsheet is blowing Excel and Google Sheets <laughs> out of the water. You Absolutely. know, I've never gotten an email from Google Sheets asking me if it's, you know, ready to start the next project. So <laughs> this is, you know, it's so much more, smart <laughs> yeah it is very smart and for the friends who are watching in project management space what ashley just demonstrated was lag time and you can also do the same for lead time you could do a minus amount of number for it to show you some lead time so for those who are really in there we go yeah for those who are really into their mics of projects and stuff you can do the same thing uh right here in smartsheet so ashley you've shown us the grid view the gantt view which other view is there in Smartsheet? Well, there's card view. Um, card view is dependent on a dropdown. Okay. So if you have a lot of dropdowns, if you have contact columns, things like that, those are going to be your jam for card view. So um, dropdown list, you know, we can change this to status two or approver status. And we can say approved not approved on hold okay and it's really simple to add these are all of the different selections that will come in your drop down column mm -hmm. not like in um excel where you have mm -hmm. to you know figure out how to get the validation and i mean mm -hmm. not yeah. that i hate validation <laughs> i think it works pretty well but let's say we're gonna put approved oh, here oh. and not approved here Mm. Now I'm going to switch our view to card view. And what happens is, is it takes that drop down menu and lays it out in these little tiny lanes for you. Mm. And it's great for companies that have many employees that they're trying to manage all of the tasks mm. for each employee. Every person, you know, or every status gets their own little lane. And my favorite thing about card view is that you can just rearrange the cards mm. and change their statuses. So we do that. And then if we go back to the grid view, it will be in the not approved, ah. you know, or we can put it on hold and it'll now have the status of on hold. Wow. That's so really it is, it's, it's so great for statuses and people that are working really, really fast mm. um, and need to assign tasks and just get mm -hmm. them, you know, to each person. That's so, a Kanban, Kanban system. Yeah. It really is. And you can add options to nice. your dropdown from here. So you just click add a lane and it'll say, you know. Um, so will it add then, that to the dropdown if you were to go back to the grid view? Wow. It will. <laughs> it's, it is smart. 
for sure. Yeah, so now we're back in our grid view and we just look at our, um, we just look at our different statuses, you know, and things like that. And my, my smart sheets having issues with it's, those columns yeah, right now. I don't know if a refresh would, would help. There we go. There we, we go. <laughs> <laughs> a refresh yes. always saves the day. Oh, it's in there. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so now wow. we have the waiting for approval wow. in there and it just did it by itself. You know, that is, I that didn't is, have to do it. That is truly awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's fantastic for, um, working with things. And one of my favorite, you know, I mean, even in grid view is to be able to freeze the columns. You can do that in Google sheets and in, um, Excel, but, the way that I love it here is that it makes it a little more user friendly, even because oh. you can freeze like in the other ones you can freeze, but you know, now it's, you can just move it. And it's like I said, it's just a little more user friendly. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. I love it. I mean, I love what I've seen so far. So Ashley, you tell us it is possible for someone who just wants to play around with Smartsheet to go right in there and set up a free account, isn't it? It nope. is. You can have a free account. Um, it's very limited, but I mean, if you're new and you're just getting used to it, the free account lets you get a sheet. It lets you get really comfortable with Smartsheet. Mm. Um, you know, it lets you kind of break the boundaries on all of these little things mm -hmm. that you can do with each column. And, you know, it gives you that little bit of training. If you're a hands-on learner, it's perfect. <laughs> mm. That's cool. Yeah. So for those folks who are wondering, you know, is Smartsheet something I can use? Is it, is it for me? Definitely worth going in there and, uh, you know, taking a look at what it can do, play around with it and, and learn a little bit more. So this is kind of like the second level of where we're going. Now that you've learned all the views, the grid view, uh, the gap view, the card view, what else? The yeah. calendar view. Let's talk about that one. So calendar view is the latest and greatest when it comes to a calendar. So, you know, you can pick the column that you want all of your dates to start on. And then you can say, use the dates that the range. So it'll show a bar across the range of dates that you're using the start date and the end date. You can display your tasks, your reminders and see we had the one project that's only got a duration of one day but then we have project one that's going to take two days. Mm. So it shows it to you on here. My favorite thing about calendar view is that you can overlay. So mm. you can publish your calendar, but you can also overlay into your Google calendar. Wow. Or you can bring in from your Google calendar to Smartsheet. Wow. How remarkable. Yeah. So it's pretty cool if you are creating a dashboard and you have a lot of employees that are looking at this dashboard and need to see a calendar of what's happening on which day, this is definitely for you. And it's pretty big in project management as well because project managers live off of a calendar. Mm. So does it pull the calendars from a number of users or is it just the, the one user and it shows all your projects? It's the one user. So you can have a calendar for each PM Ah. and PMA on your dashboard, um, but you can't have everybody obviously mm -hmm. <laughs> laid into one calendar. Not yet, mm -hmm. but it's coming. Um, more enterprise type stuff. I mean, enterprise, yes, but it's they've been had, getting a lot of requests to have team calendars. Oh yeah. So Smartsheet yeah. is kind of they're they're in talks to figure out how to link different Google calendars together and then display them all on one calendar within Smartsheet. Hmm. So it's it's pretty cool, definitely. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. So Ashley, for now, we're gonna take a little break as we normally do, just to give our friends the ability to catch their breath. It's a lot to take in for those who yes. haven't been down this road, but it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So when we come back, we'd like to take a look at the topic that is, is, is talked about a lot uh, where Smartsheet is concerned, and that's the, the forms 
So we'll take a little break and we'll be back. 